Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 2 Resurrected with me, Jerupidus. We took a, a little break for the holidays, but we are back and we're ready to take on Act 5. I've taken the liberty going around and getting Quest 1 started, which is to stop the siege by killing Shank the Overseer, and I'm really looking forward to that, so let's get to it. And man, am I happy to be in Act 5. This is easily my favorite act. Well, maybe easily is a bit of an exaggeration. Act 1 is really good as well. But uh, this is, I've mentioned it before, but it's still true, just absolutely hammered in paradise. That one's no good. Okay. And I think I'm gonna be slightly less thorough for this one. Like, I kind of just want to get directly to Shank. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best to, uh, you know, make sure we're killing a lot of stuff, but I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Wanna grab this rare Unraveler head for sure. Unfortunately for us, we spent a bunch of money gambling and got nothing for it. <laughs> but such is the nature of gambling, isn't it? I don't even know where Ilzani is right now. <laughs> I'll take that key for sure. And let's get back to the top right just a bit more. Oh, let's get Holy Shield back up. And uh, same as the other difficulties. Oh boy, Grify the Witch, let's go. Goodbye. Uh, but what I was going to say is, same as the other difficulties, uh, Act 5 is going to have very, very nice possibilities when it comes to drops. And it doesn't get really any better than this on Hell. Get back your Steel Burn the Flare. See if we can corner him. Perfect. A lot of full rejuvenation potions dropping, and that is nice. So let's go ahead and get filled up. And you know what? I'll actually take one just to fill in the fourth slot. Why not? And you know, I was watching some videos recently, as I've been doing a lot with my free time about Diablo 2. And I was watching a uh, person talking about what their favorite acts are, which I was mentioning just a moment ago, and I do really like this one. And in the video, they mentioned that this is the only act to be kind of in independently developed all on its own. You know, it was obviously part of some uh, expansion content. And the best part about it, uh, for me, like, I really like the uh, plotline with the political intrigue between Nilithak and Anya. But beyond that, uh, they mentioned that it makes you feel like you're part of something bigger, like you're part of this siege. You're part of helping the barbarian city of Herogout survive. And that's pretty cool. None of the other acts really do that, right? Like, you're... You're there to help, but you're the only person really out there doing stuff. Whereas in this one, you feel not so alone. And perhaps feeling alone uh, has a little bit something to do with the fact that we're uh, not playing with other people, at least not yet. But either way, it's really cool with all the NPCs out here. Just everything about it is just so, so good. I think it's about time to sell some crap, so let's make it happen. So there's a couple of rares over here I want to grab.
Yeah, the going is not getting any easier. I mean, nothing out here is nearly as terrifying as uh, Stiggin' Dolls. But you do still need to watch it. You need to be paying attention to what you're doing. Hell difficulty really likes to just randomly kill you. <laughs> it loves it. thing that's happened to me over the holidays is that uh, one of my gifts was a brand new microphone and I'm hoping that that will mean that my voice quality will be very improved on the channel I don't think it's terrible but I am using like a $60 Amazon microphone so I'm hoping it will lend an air of professionalism <laughs> to the proceedings that my gameplay fails to do we'll see I'm not using it quite yet but I will let you know when I start this ever fun. This act is just so, so good. <laughs> oh, man. It's just an absolute pleasure to finally be here. We have died a number of times on Hell difficulty. I think we died maybe once on Nightmare, and we died, like, I don't know, four or five times on Hell. Uh, which is not super encouraging when it comes to maybe trying out doing a hardcore character or uh, things like that, which if you don't know means uh, when you die, you lose your character, they're gone. Your character and all your stuff is gone. Which to be sure is both a really fun way to play the game because it makes you care quite a bit, but really all it is is a recipe for uh, emotional devastation when you die. Um, because most of the time it will not have felt fair. You know, there are deaths in video games that feel, at the very least, reasonable, where you can be like, yeah, I, I made a mistake and the game punished me. However, uh, most of your deaths, in fact, I would argue probably the vast majority of them in Diablo 2 are not going to feel fair at all. <laughs> it's going to feel like it came out of nowhere and happened for no particular reason. But I will admit that despite the fact that it is at least a little insane to play on hardcore, having real emotional stakes when it comes to dying in a game really makes you sit up in your chair and pay attention. It is definitely pretty awesome. There's nothing quite like it that I can think of. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that, like, a uh, hardcore game mode had really been invented. It, at the very least, was not part of the popular imagination when it came to games before this game came out. And it's one of those things where... <laughs> I, I have to imagine the inception of this idea. They're like, that's just crazy enough and enough of a bad idea to actually be a really good idea. You know, the name Hardcore Difficulty by itself really exemplifies what it's all about, where truly only the uh, dedicated to the point of derangement will get the full enjoyment out of that uh, game mode. But it's really, really fun to play that way in ladder seasons. By fun, of course, I mean, uh, <laughs> on the moment of your death, you will sink into a depression that you will barely be able to believe. Yeah, 
as you sit there staring at your screen and then, of course, click create a character again. <laughs> and do it to yourself all over. Ooh, there he is. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, if my hammers will float all the way in there, this is going to be big, big trouble for Mr. Shank. That wasn't so bad. So a rare ring, some greater claws, full rejuve. is free of your kind, demon. But nothing exciting like a high rune or something like that. So we'll have to go to Larzik for our reward, but for now we can just keep going. Whoops, I did not mean to pick those up. Get rid of those. We'll head back to town when it makes the most sense to do so. Which, if I had to guess, will be like 30 seconds from now. <laughs> Something else I was thinking about recently is... Uh, I guess this is more of a nitpick than anything else. But when I went to make my uh, smoke armor, something that will happen to you in this game, uh, which really didn't exist before the addition of rune words to the game, is that when you get like a socketed piece of gear. Now, maybe this is not true for everyone, but it's certainly true for me. I do not have all the rune words memorized, and I particularly don't have all the rune words memorized, like, across classes. So something that could be useful, socket-wise, it's really, really hard to keep it inside your brain. Oh, this would be, this is something that I'm looking for if I roll a sorceress. You know, something like that. So it's one of those things that's so fantastically complicated that when you get something like that, you've got to stop playing and, like, hop on the internet for 15 minutes and figure out what you can even do. And my question is, is that good game design? And I would argue that it absolutely is not. It's another one of those uh, pieces of design that show up in much, much older games. Ooh, so we're here in the Frigid Highlands. Uh, there is our waypoint, and you know what? Now is probably a good time to get back to town and collect that reward, so let's do it. Go talk to old Larzuk. You're an even greater... Thanks, Larzuk. <laughs> you won't be adding sockets for me anytime soon, but maybe, maybe at some point I'll use that. Let's get this stuff identified. Hello. And Larzuk will probably never do that, but maybe someday. So now we've got to find those soldiers, and I'm looking forward to this one. I find this quest to be fun. Evening. 30% extra gold. I don't think that's worth the space, although it might be nice. I'll keep this one because it's just one of them, but, eh, uh, nah. I was hoping this would be good, but it absolutely is not. Okay. Let's get filled up on potions here. And let's get to freeing some uh, helpless barbarians. And their sad little wooden pens that they somehow cannot escape from. Ooh, with Thalrune, I'll take it. What? What are you? Deeds Fortune? Oh, this is huge! Look at this thing! I can't believe we just found this! I better pay attention to the game. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's hold off on that a second, but that is one of the best Grand Charms in the game. Always that exciting. What a day already. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's, let's back up and uh, take a look at this thing. So 125% extra gold for monsters, 33 magic find, and cheapens all vendor prices. How sweet is that? We are starting to look... Uh, something like a well-to-do character. Someone who is game-rich. And that is very exciting. That will also bump our magic find back up to, uh... 
more where it was before we had to focus on resistances a little bit more to improve our survivability. In fact, let's take a look. That bumps it back up to 130, so only about 30 south of where it was. That is just fantastic. Wow. I am incredibly happy right now. <laughs> Magic Large Charm I almost left behind. Let's go ahead and grab that. Ice Flame. What a stupid name. <laughs> ah, yes. The Flaming Ice that you're always seeing around. Alright, I kind of want to keep going top left because I feel like the map is pulling me top right. And once again, while we're going to be kind of just getting straight to the point with this stuff, I think we're on a high enough level where we're not going to get in too much trouble anywhere in this act, other than the uh, second fail wave that's going to have magic immunes. And another unique, let's go, skin of the Viper Magi. So plus to all skills, 30% uh, FCR. All res 34 and uh, magic damage reduced by 11. That might actually be better than this. Oh my god, are we running hot today. So actually, well, you know what? Let's deal with whatever I'm hearing right now. There we go. That'll grant us a level up too, so we can throw another point into Blessed Aim. Almost done there. Took an explosion to the face, but that's all right. Let's get more vitality. So let me think this over. Yeah, unfortunately, it drops our res a little bit too low, but that might be resolved for the most part by the uh, tender res quest reward, but we are definitely going to be hanging on to that. And uh, using it when it becomes feasible to do so. But Skin of the Viper Magi is going to be a decent unique for us, for sure. Champions over here, huh? Let's take them out. Thought I heard a ring drop. Yeah, there we go. I am overburdened. I can't even pick up a ring? All right, let's hit town. <laughs> All right, after a lot of moving stuff around, we managed to find some space for that uh, Skin of the Viper Magi. That is very, very exciting. Did I mention I'm crazy happy about that? And my Geeds? Oh, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Yep, let's get some hammers up and... Uh... Boy, once we get that tender res, we can, like, throw on the skin of the Viper Magi. We can put on a different amulet because our resistances will be high enough where we don't need to use our uh, stupid amulet that we have on right now. Why don't I pull it up in just a sec here to show you what I'm talking about? Here we go. So we're still wearing this one ju basically just for the resistance, although the 7% uh, magic find is not bad. But we do have one that's got uh, plus 2 to defensive auras, which, while that's not amazing, is certainly better than having uh, assassin skills. Oh boy. This is quite the mob. Let's go. Greaves over there, not too big of a deal. Although, frankly, I don't even remember what shoes we're wearing. Corpse Greaves. 
Yeah, these are fine, but not amazing. We could, maybe I should go pick those up, honestly. <laughs> I can't carry anymore. All right, we'll go ahead and grab that and let's keep moving. But it is interesting the way that it ends up working where once you get to a certain point with your resistances, then that starts freeing up your other inventory slots for more specific things. But I do believe that resistances are just king. This should also mean that uh, Ilzan is getting close to a level up for himself as well. Which will be great. Ooh. It's Abaddon. Boy, those places, uh, somewhat unsurprisingly, I guess, your uh, hell pits on hell difficulty are a big pain. And there he goes. There's his level up. Perfect. I say we just get right in there. Let's do it. Let's clear it out. There we go. Yeah, these are some sort of uh, Act 4 enemies that I don't necessarily want to see. And uh, one other weird thing about these places is that they're not uh, level 85 areas, so they're not great for Magic Find. I like them just as the uh, callback to Act 4. But realistically, they should be a bit better, I think. I'm loving these just gigantic gold piles that are dropping for me now. That is just fantastic. Gambling is going to become increasingly relevant for us as we go here. And more gold means more chances to gamble, which is just great. Oh, these archers are the worst. If we run into a big pack of these, we could end up in trouble in here. But I'm not going to play scared. I'm going to clear it out as best I can. Take that diamond, I suppose. All right, down it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and refill on mana, why not? And let's keep going. Oh god, this could be dicey. I didn't even catch that guy's name, it was Dire Drool the Mad, maybe? Oh boy. I really do enjoy having these full rejuvenation potions on me, but I wonder how long they're going to last. I'm having to go through a frightening number of them in here. All right, let's see what we can pick up. I am overburdened. That should be good enough to keep going for now. Oh, those look really fast. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay hidden around the corner just for now. I can't carry any. Yeah, have heals on aggro them, and then we can start throwing some hammers. I need mana. Red froth, goodbye. All right, I'm becoming a little concerned about our potion count, but I think we're okay. Let's see here. I can't Magic carry worm hide. Maybe I should hit town. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some potions and sell some stuff. All right, let's take that worm hide and deal with these archers. Yeah, 
I don't have my rejuvenation potion, so these are increasingly dangerous. They just hit you so, so hard all at once. Ooh, there's my glowing chesty. Let's go get it. Nothing exciting. Too bad. I can't carry anymore. All right, let's see what the rest of this place has to offer, and then we'll get out of here. there will be lots more stuff to kill out here. Honestly, I kind of want to... Okay. So I was totally wrong. Top right is not the way forward, but that's okay. I think we're going to double back and take out some stuff. It's just so, so good to grind out here and just make sure you finish everything. Ah, uh, but these are the ramparts. Yeah, okay. I'm ready to continue on my way. And I'm thinking about it and our, uh... Room reward is gonna be Ralor Talagan, right? And we're hanging on to a Rondosh that's got three sockets and is going to be an even better Ancient Legend. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that once we get the runes. All right, let's let him out. I can't carry anymore. And I can't even pick up one measly ring. So the quest log says rescue ten more soldiers, and that's exactly what I we're going to do. But let's go ahead and sell some stuff. How many sockets does this have? Just one? Get out of here. Whoops. Probably want to have concentration on there. It, you know, only uh, triples my damage. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, we do actually have to be really thorough in this area to find all the barbarians that we got to free. But the good news is it will be lots of XP. However, I think we are a sufficient enough level to defeat Bale. Like, Bale himself is going to be... If I had to guess, actually pretty quick. <laughs> I think we're going to be able to take him out real quick. But the waves are going to be the problem. Just ethereal, boo. Alright, it looks like all the barbarian pens should be the way forward. So that's the way we're going to head. And you know, this time of year, I like to reflect a little bit on everything that I've accomplished, everything that we've done all year. And we've managed to finish several Final Fantasy games. Um, we're going to finish this game very, very soon, aside from uh, any kind of bonus content I want to do. But the uh, my main goal for this is to just finish all three difficulties basically in just one run. But the channel has come really far. We've accomplished a lot. We've played a lot of really sweet games and had a lot of fun doing it. And that's a good feeling going into next year.
I'm at the point with it now where I'm just wondering how far we can go. How much can we do? We're up over 170 subscribers, and a big shout-out and thank you to everybody who's subscribed to the channel. Happy holidays to you. I back the Unleashed. I hope he doesn't kill me. That felt a little laggy because none of the monsters reacted the second I walked in there, so I was a little worried that I might already be dead. Alright, what do we got over here? Let's pick up some healing potions. That should be good. Yep, alright. Thank you, Ilzon. Oh, this is already the plateau. Where are the uh, barbarian pens? Let's back up. Ooh, I even missed a glowing chest. Look at that. Nothing exciting, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's keep on going. I see. They're going to be way back here. I'm already seeing one right down here, so let's go ahead and get that one done immediately. How did a monster get in there with them? <laughs> that, like, definitely shouldn't happen. There we go. I would love to let them out. Only five more to go, and it's got to be, like, right over this way, right? Yep, there it is. Only I could figure out how to get in there. There we go. The quest is all wrapped up. And we can return to Qualkek for our reward in a little bit. All right, we are back to the plateau and we're looking for our waypoint out here. So I will be interested in finding that. say this as well. It is nice to be in an act, uh, coming off of Act 4, that you can really sink your teeth into and, and spend some actual time with. We finished Act 4 in one sitting. <laughs> we will not be finishing this one in one sitting. I can personally guarantee that. Oh man, did you see that? Those gold piles were like 5,000 apiece. <laughs> So sweet. I can't wait to gamble away my life savings. But doing it in a safe way in a game. <laughs> you would like to not do that in real life. Perfect. I will take that. All right, where is that pesky waypoint? I think we're just gonna uh, double back and just kind of do the middle. There it is, perfect. I think I still want to uh, clear this area out a little bit more though. The XP is just so, so good out here. In addition to uh, none of the enemies being 
they're not completely not threatening, but certainly not super dangerous at all. Rare chainmail, I will take that. And I do believe our next level up is going to be the uh, final point in Blessed Aim, which means that we're pretty much done with our build in as much as we will be uh, improving our hammer damage anymore. It's not really going to get too much better than this, uh, better than our next level up beyond uh, finding some uh, plus to all skills type stuff. You know what? I think we got time to do one more of these little hell pits. Let's do the pit of uh, Asheron. However... These goats look enticing. Yeah, let's get them. Didn't drop anything cool, but that's okay. Let's let's get in the pit. Hopefully there won't be any more skeleton archers in here, but if I know anything about hell difficulty, there almost certainly will be. Oh, these hell temperatures look just like enemies right out of the first Diablo. That's so cool. <laughs> I should really do a uh, Let's Play of that game. That game is so fantastic. A Rail Rune, I'll take it. Awesome. What an amazing day. You really can't ask for much more than how we've done drop-wise today. go that way, so we'll have to go around. These vipers can definitely be dangerous. Well, we're just way too strong. <laughs> this is so sweet. Well, we lost Ilzon, which is certainly scary, so let's go get him back. And you know what? While we're here, why don't we grab that reward from Qualcag? Thank you. I am overburdened. Ooh, and there's our Rail Ortel. You know what? We have uh, the opportunity to make our new shield. Afternoon. So let's get our stuff identified. Good day. And get it sold off so we can pick up those runes. And let's make a brand new Ancients Pledge. That can also go, and look at that. We even have more runes to pick up. What a day. All right, so let's grab our uh, shield, our superior Akaran Targe, and let's go uh, Ral. Ort and a towel. And let's go ahead and uh, compare these, shall we? <laughs> Look at the resistance on this thing. And it's got 199 defense. This is just perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Let's get our other runes put away. And now we can go ahead and throw on that uh, amulet. Here we go, the Storm Noose. And that should mean, yep, we are still maxed out on res. Um, we can basically not have to worry about resistance on anything. I might be able to put Noggle Ring back on, actually. Yeah, look at that. I can just take this right off. I like the Replenished Life, but I think I want my Magic Find back. Oh, this is super exciting. Yep, we can put that on. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with my Old Ancients Pledge. I guess I might as well sell it, but we'll see. Put it in the cube for now. And I might putz around with my gear just a little bit more, just to see what I can do. Maybe I can actually put on the skin of the Viper Magi at this point.
Yep, I absolutely can. So perfect. So now I get uh, plus one to all skills. I have 80% faster cast rate. And uh, a little bit uh, magic damage reduction, but that doesn't matter that much. We'll hang on to smoke for a while, though. Just because I like it. But now our uh, magic find is up to 151, which is just fantastic. We have an 80% faster cast rate. Oh, baby, this is sweet. And we still get to keep our fully maxed out resistances. Unfortunately, we look a little bit worse, a little bit less crazy geared out, but it is very sweet nonetheless. And you know what? I think we got a few more minutes. Let's go ahead and finish up the pit. But our gear has come a long way. These over here are kind of scaring me. Not enough money. Okay, that wasn't so bad at all. Yep, take the full rejuvenation. Let's grab this key. Use a couple of healing potions. Let's finish this up. Can't get through that way, so we'll have to go around. Wow. That was big damage, okay. This particular health hit is not messing around too much. Yeah, I don't like the tiny little Rondosh as much as I like my old uh, shield. I think the bigger shields look cooler, but uh, they all look the same when you have Holy Shield up, so... Fortunately, our uh, fashion is not going to take too big a hit. Doesn't look like we have too much further to go here. Can't get through that way either, huh? Okay. I can't carry anymore. Whoa, okay. That was a little scary. Oh man. Still gotta be on your toes, even with maxed out resistances and a bunch of sweet uniques and all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> Hell difficulty is not gonna let you off that easy. That was a pretty weak chest, I have to admit. But that's okay, just a few more vipers to clear out and we're out of here. All right, we're back in town. We finished up two quests, and that's going to be all the time I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.